Now, former KwaZulu Natal Anglican Bishop Robin Philip says he enjoyed babysitting the Arches children. He's joining us now via Zoom to reflect uh, on the Arches' life and legacy. Bishop, uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for, for, for your time. Can you just share with our, our viewers uh, my intro? You, you, you once babysitted the children of the Arch. Yes, I did. Uh, this happened when I entered the theological college in Alice in the Eastern Cape to begin my uh, my studies to become a, a a bishop, a priest, and then a bishop of the church. And when I started uh, uh, my time at the at at the seminary, uh, I was asked by uh, Mama Leah one day. Oh, you know the 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 bishop and I have got to go out this evening. Would you and one other person consider uh, babysitting the children? And we did that, and of course uh, it was uh, a wonderful experience. But but there were some side benefits. For example, uh, because we were students and couldn't afford uh, all the good things of life, we were able to r raid the tutors, tutors refrigerator and help ourselves to uh, some very nice uh, goodies and uh, some lovely cool drinks. And that was a good reason, <laughs> apart from other reasons, uh, <laughs> to, to offer our service to the Arch. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a, that's a long, jump, long time ago. Was it all four kids or, 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 or three? How many children? Were it all four of them? Well, they have, yes, they have four kids now, but they were two, three at the time. Okay, yeah. no, you say it's a beautiful uh, experience. Now, it's one day to go before the funeral service tomorrow at the St. George's Cathedral in Cape Town, and we all know it's a special official funeral category one that the government has, has, has offered uh, uh, for, 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 for the Arch. Uh, on this eve of the funeral, what, what are you reflecting on about his legacy? I, well, first of all, I, I can't stop giving thanks uh, to God for this most remarkable human being who, through his life and example, through his dedication and the very many sacrifices that he made, played a pivotal role in bringing about our freedom, our liberation. And I, uh, to be honest, I, 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 I sometimes wonder whether uh, we can have another two to, to continue uh, this, uh, uh, this struggle for a just society. As we all well know, we are experiencing a number of challenges at this time, but it, whilst it, it takes good uh, rules and laws to bring about change, that can only be driven by, by dedicated and committed human beings such as the Arch. And uh, I, I hope and I pray that, that God will raise men like the Arch to continue the good work. Yeah, and as you say, there's still a lot of challenges in our country. But I mean, the the, the change that uh, he he fought he fought for, uh, and and w was not just uh, in large society, but also within your own church, uh, the Anglican Church. I mean, there were many many uh, challenges and issues that uh, that he faced there. Yes, he did indeed. I mean, uh, at the beginning of his ministry. As, as bishop, uh, he wasn't all that warmly accepted in, in mainly uh, white churches. Uh, sometimes they were just courteous and received him to do their services, but by and large, they saw him as a thorn in the flesh because he, he fought the evils of apartheid using biblical and theological language. He, he did not see a dichotomy, a separation between his faith, his belief in God, and how 
that should translate into matters of justice and equality and freedom for the majority of God's people in South Africa. And so they, 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 they accused him of all sorts of things that he, he was being a politician instead of being a bishop, that he was using God for his own personal ends. And, and all of that was uh, way out of line. It, it's, it's, they just wanted to avoid the, the good work that he was doing as a bishop and a prophet of the church. And, and, and of course, he, he, he carried on the protest uh, publicly, as we know, uh, I mean, rising in the, in the, in the, in the 80s after uh, uh, he was bishop of Johannesburg, uh, becoming the, general, the secretary general of the South African Council of Churches, then ending up as the archbishop, as the bishop in Cape Town and the archbishop. But, and globally, uh, he, he grew, he became, a, he became an icon. From, from your perspective, how, how do you take forward a legacy of, of, of someone like him, who on the other side of the scale was very humble? Yes, he, he was genuinely humble. Uh, 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 as, I, as I grew to know him and love him because he played, uh, uh, he was a father figure in my life. I'd lost my dad. And he was somebody I could turn to, I could phone, uh, seek advice, seek guidance, and so on. And uh, he, he, Archbishop Desmond did what he did, not for any selfish and self-serving ends. Uh, he, was, he, was, he was a person of integrity. And what he did was for his God, and for his people, for South Africa. Remember that, that, that his, his participation in the struggle for a just society uh, had been a long one, long before people were thinking about uh, uh, freedom and so on. And so, so what he did was absolutely genuine. And, and the wonderful thing is what, what he had achieved will be with us for a long time to come. Our children's children will enjoy that. Bishop, finally and very briefly, if you may, you babysat. You said you were the babysitter there for two of the four children many years ago when you were studying theology yourself as a student. What would your message be to the four of them today as they prepare to lay their father to rest tomorrow? Your father was... I would say to them, your father, as they well know, was an incredible human being. Absolutely. In my book, he was a saint. He served the country selflessly. He gave of his very best. And all he desired was that the peoples of this great country should be free, free from the shackles of apartheid and enjoy the freedom uh, that, that they and, and Desmond and others have fought so hard for. So we are so proud of him and long may his spirit and his name and his reputation live. Thank you uh, uh, very much. The, that's uh, the former KwaZulu-Natal Anglican Bishop Robin Philip, who once many years ago when he was a theology student he babysitted two of the late archbishops for children.